Here we go. Who went up here? Pass it up to you. No. You're going to pass to you. Oh, we can pass. No, you can't pass. If you, if you weren't here the last two days, you can pass. Just wait. I want to be is not right. Just wait. Megan? No, that's not right. Caitlin. I, well, I can't remember your name. I'm sorry, Caitlin. The guy I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Caitlin, can you still play the brackets for me, please? What does that turn into? you're going to have to. Yeah. Because the thing is, once they, well, because there's no exploring to them, you don't have to yet. But if there's a negative exploring, you flip. If there's a positive exploring, you don't flip. Okay? All right, Angela, go ahead, please. What do you do now? So let's just take up the step. I'm glad I want to do this one because sometimes people forget to put the exponents to those numbers. It's very good, Angela, okay? So again, whatever the whatever the thing is, remember there's an invisible one there as well. Two divided by negative two and also divided by three. Okay, so it's negative two is a negative two. A is a negative two, B squared, C fourteen divided by three is a negative two. Alright, Curtis, you've hit long enough. This guy. It's your time to shine. I'm going to make those negatives positive for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have to put the one back. I know this. You do know this. Yeah. If, if the residue of fraction is not the same. Yeah. So anything that's a negative, you just take the switch it. Home, just switch it. Switch it. So this three is a negative, two is going to come to the top and yeah. turn into? Okay. Um, I'll leave my fraction here for a sec. What else is on the top? The A, B, and C. A, B, and C are. Okay. So B squared. C is 14. What's on the bottom, please? Keep going. B, A. Okay. Anything else? No. Oh, the negative 2. Yeah, because that's right. That was very fast. Thank you. Okay. Well, let's just talk about what we did there to make sure we got this right now, right? Okay, with us here, please. Okay, so what we did this here first, subtract the powers. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 0 minus 7 is negative 7. Okay, multiply the negative 2 into the power. Negative 2 to the negative 2. A to the negative 2. B squared. C to the 14. All over 3 to the negative 2. And anything that's negative just flips. Okay, so 2 to the negative 2 goes to the on there, becomes 2 squared. A to the negative 2 becomes positive, and it goes to the A squared. B squared stays the same spot. C to the 14 stays the same spot. And C to the 3 to the negative 2 changes positive and goes to the numerator. Okay? That's a lot of good math. Okay? Good math. Nice. You got a feeling? Yeah. I feel bad all there by yourself. Okay. Yes? Because originally here, this was a negative 2, right? So if you look at this exponent, you just change this, change the place that you were in, and it makes it positive. But there was only one on the bottom. One, there could be two numbers on the bottom. Well, just anything that's a positive negative power eclipse. So each each of these things are like separate because they're times by each other. So like negative 2 is separate, A is separate, B is separate, C is separate. So this, this chunk gets moved to the bottom, negative two. This chunk gets moved to the bottom. This chunk gets moved to the top. Okay, it's just, it's just whatever, whatever chunks or whatever you want to call it, whatever, whatever terms are negative there. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, 
I give you guys a few to try here yourself. My goal is for you guys on this one. I to simplify the numerator first. There is exactly simplify it. Okay? And then divide through at the end. Alright? You guys can do this with confidence in yourself. You can do this. Lily, the late three grade, please. Go for the fours. It's going to be four to the power of one. Okay, four to the power of five, right? Two plus three is five. Keep going. Eight to the power. Five. Right, and two plus three. Right. Yeah. All right, Olivia, B to the power of what? Uh, seven. Seven, good. And C to the power of what? Okay, now, you guys are grade nine, so be responsible for yourselves. If that's not clear how that came from, please ask if you need to. Okay, okay. So all I did there, just to make sure, you take the things that are the same bases, so four squared and four cubed, and because they're being multiplied, you just add the exponents. So it just goes two plus three. Okay, same thing, a's are the same, a squared and a cubed, just gonna add the exponents, two plus three. B's are the same, b3 and b4, so they're just gonna be b7. Okay, okay. Sound good? Which one B? Keep going. Yeah. So just very good. So what you just did there was anything with the common base, which are the A's, because you're dividing, just subtract. Okay, so it's going to be A to the 5 divided by A to the 9 is 5 minus 9, A to the 4, negative 4. B to the 7 divided by B to the 9 is going to be B to the negative 2. And then C to the 4 divided by C to the 9 is C to the negative 5. All right, Owen, it's time to shine. I have negative exponents. I want to make them positive. What do I do? Therefore, it change to 4 to the power of 5 over A to the power of 4. B to the power of 2 over C to the power of 5. Okay. Let's just talk this through to make sure everyone gets it here. Okay. As soon as you see a negative exponent, you take it from the numerator to the denominator. If it's in the denominator, you take it out from the numerator. And that's all the negative <coughs> exponents. Okay. Sort of there. Awesome. Okay. Ready for another one? I'm sorry, this is today's, today's practice, right? Today's good practice. That's today's. All right, here we go. Letter H. Okay, here we go, letter H. Let's pick something awful. This is probably the worst thing I could think of giving you. I probably could throw a few more exponents if I wanted to, but this is pretty bad. This is like an 8 out of 10 on difficulty, okay? 8 out of 10. Alright? 8 out of 10. Like with possible. 